Hi, I'm Linda Budd. I'm a pastor at Rivergate Church in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And I take the scriptures literally that says that we are to lay hands on the sick and see them recover. And so for several years, I've gone after a healing anointing. I've prayed for people dozens of times over the years, and I see so many get healed. I've seen all manner of sickness and disease healed. If you have any pain in your body, if you're infirmed, if you have any disease, if you have any sickness at all, I just reach my hand up to heaven right now in the name of Jesus, and I call forth the new body part that you need. Listen to this testimony. I walked into a Wednesday night service that I was going to preach The worship started, and I felt like I wanted to cry. And it wasn't Holy Ghost crying. It was crying like something's wrong. And it was not good. And I just wanted to go home. And I thought, what am I going to do? And I thought, this is so weird because I'm not like that. Then suddenly I recognized (laughs) that it was a word of knowledge. And so I was like, oh, yes. So I looked around and I saw a person and I knew it was for that person. So I decided that I would do it at the end of my sermon. So we did worship and I preached. And while I was preaching, that person got up and walked out. And I thought, oh, no, I guess I missed it. Well, a couple minutes later, she came back in. And I was so happy about that. So when I got done preaching the word, I said something to the effect of, there is a person here and uh, I'm going to give you an opportunity to identify yourself, but I know who you are. I said, you are struggling with depression. And I was looking at this woman and she began to squirm. And, but she wasn't going to raise her hand, but she just was squirming and she said something to the person beside her and looked like she was guilty, you know. And finally, I said, ma'am, it's you, isn't it? And I'd never met her before. I'd never seen her before. And she said, yes. And I said, if you'll walk up here, you'll get free of that. Well, she didn't want to walk up. And I said, just come on. It'll be worth it. So she walked up there. And as she was walking up there, I suddenly knew that she didn't know the Lord. So I said, have you ever asked Jesus into your life? And she said, no. And I said, would you like to do that tonight? Would you like to be a Christian? Would you like to know the Lord? Would you like to know that when you pass from this life to the next life that you're going to heaven? She said, yes. So I led her in the sinner's prayer, and she repeated everything after me. And the whole congregation did, too. Everybody was so excited. They couldn't stop clapping. And um, then I said, all right. You're dealing with a spirit of depression. I said, I want to do some deliverance on you. Would you be willing to do that? And she said, yes. So I commanded several things to come up and out. I commanded a spirit of heaviness and depression and trauma and a few other things I can't remember now. And I said, tell tell each one of these things to get out of you in the name of Jesus. And she did. And as she was doing that, her face cleared up. She began to look different. She began to look brighter in the eyes. And then I said, now, these things are gone. They've left in the name of Jesus. I said, do you believe it? She says, yes, I do. And I said, so now, Lord, I ask that you would just release into her the right chemicals in her brain and all throughout her body that she will no longer be a person of depression. And I laid my hand upon her shoulder. And then I said, turn to the congregation now and tell them that you've asked Jesus into your heart. And she did so very quietly and shyly, but she did it. And you know, the Bible says that if you'll confess me before men, I'll confess you before the Father in heaven. And I told her that there's a book of life in heaven and that her name just got written in it. And when it's her time to come to heaven, Jesus is going to look in that book and he's going to see her name and he's going to say, come on in. If you need to ask Jesus in your heart today, please do so. Just repent of your sin. Tell Jesus that you're sorry. Tell him that you want to live for him. You say, well, I'm not good enough. I mean, you know what? That's exactly why he died for you, because you are not good enough. You can't do anything to be good enough. 
So he died on the cross for your sins, but you have to acknowledge it. And you have to say, dear Jesus, please come into my life. And when you do that through faith, he will come in. He will forgive you and he will come in. And um, you will become the temple of the Holy Spirit. You will become born again. And then I just want to tell you that there's another gift after salvation, and it's called the baptism of the Holy Spirit and speaking in tongues. And you can read about that in the book of Acts. And so if you would like to receive that today, just receive it. Just open your mouth and begin to make baby sounds and let your tongue just go loose and wild, and you'll receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. And by the way, your depression is leaving now. I command that spirit of heaviness up and out of you in the name of Jesus. Aren't these just great testimonies of the goodness of God and the healing power of Jesus Christ? If you are interested in having me come and speak at a motivational event, your church, or a conference of some sort, I am more than happy to consider that invitation. Please contact my church's office, Rivergate Church, Tulsa, 918-492-5511, and we'll see if we can set something up. God bless you.